Hello, this is Arthur Mix with EWKS, and today this video is about improving the uh, display options that you have in quote folders, and, and I think you need to take a look at the different options that you have, uh, see if they are applicable to you, and how they might give you more information that you need uh, when you're taking quotes and reviewing quotes. So I hope you enjoy this video. Here are some options that you want to look at in the quote folders. Go into the any quote sheet, doesn't matter which one. Go down to options. And then what you want to do is go to display options. So you want to check off the additive quantity I already have. Uh, the original plug, I like that to see my original plug number. Uh, we can also see the client number. Obviously, you want that. If you're any kind of a DOT, public, whatever, you want to see the client number next to your item. Okay, then drop down and the minority percentage, um, you want to see that. The minority, uh, this will be the minority amount selected. All right, so... Uh, you know, go ahead and play around with all the options. I wouldn't check them all because it's going to get too crowded right here. If you never have client numbers, then, you know, why activate it? There's no reason to have it. Um, but, you know, play around with some of the other things. There's also the alternate cost code is there. Uh, some of the things you can apply outside of this screen, like the extended prices and both prices on the display. But definitely... Uh, you know, additive quantity, that's a no-brainer. You don't want to have to look at the bottom of the screen to find your quantity for the item. Another setting that you want to look at is what description do you want to come in for when you designate a subcontractor? Do you want to have the description to be the um, bid item description or the activity description? And what I mean by that is for instance, I have in this site excavation, I have a hall sub right here. Now, the default in heavy bid, the way if you install it, is it's going to bring in just hall sub. If I have 20 of those items and it just says hall sub, hall sub, it really doesn't tell me anything. So what I want to do is I really want to have the bid item description come in for, the, for this activity when I'm in the quote folders. And this is especially important when you're doing DOT work or any type of public work where usually the sub could be by themselves, there's no crew, it's just a activity either made up on the fly or just an activity that's just for hall sub. Now I'll go to my quote sheet. There's my hall. I'll add resources to quote folder. So like I said, the, the default in heavy bid is the activity description, but all would come up under my description up here would be hall sub. It'd be very confusing. I don't want that. I want to pull in the bid item description. This will be the, this will be the default for you, the user, from now on until you change it again. Sometimes you might want to revert back to the activity description but for the most part, if you're doing public bidding, DOT type work, you're going to want the bid item description. So when I put, I come up here, I check my box, I put OK, and I get a much more descriptive item right here. So I know what I'm hauling for. And if I had the client number, like I said earlier, you would see the client number here on the, the bid item too. So again, you can change this. This can vary depending on the estimate. But once you check it, it this will remain, at least for my user, until the, uh, you know, until I change it maybe on another estimate or even on another, uh, another uh, quote folder. For the most part, though, I would say most users are going to pick one or the other and stay with it. Are very simple changes that you can make to the quote folders. Quote folders is a great uh, feature of heavy bid, but it's deep. You know, it does require getting used to, uh, and you know, developing the skills within uh, you know within the quote folders. What I suggest to do, and I'll have them 
link below in my YouTube, uh, you know, on this uh, YouTube video is there's several videos inside the um, HCSS Academy that will go more into the basics of quote, you know, the quote folders that you might benefit from. So again, this is Arthur Nix with EWKS. Check out my blog. Check out some of the other videos that I do on uh, heavy bid on my YouTube channel. Thank you.